So here is another question on half wave rectifier. So the question is that a half wave rectifier is used to supply 50 volt DC. Okay, output is 50 volt DC to a resistive load of 800 ohm. The diode has a resistance that is forward resistance of 25 ohm. Calculate the maximum value of the input AC voltage which is required. Okay, so let us first draw the circuit diagram, then we'll try to understand what the question is given. So we have a circuit, we have an AC supply, we have a diode with a forward resistance equal to 25 ohm then a load resistance RL is equal to 800 ohm okay, that is RL this is RF is equal to 25 ohm the forward resistance this is the diode and we have been asked let's say this is the input supply voltage which is Vm sin omega t we have been asked this Vm the maximum value of the AC input voltage which is supplied ok so here it has been given that the output DC voltage that is equal to 50 volt now we know that VDC output the output value the DC voltage value at the output is given by IDC into RL this RL is given here 800 ohm VDC is given here 50 volt so we can determine IDC here 50 divided by 800 50 volt divided by 800 which is coming around 0 0.0625 which is equal to 62.5 milliampere this is the DC value of the current which is flowing okay let's say this is the current flowing it has different values first one is the average value which is the DC value then the RMS value which is the AC value and then the maximum value IMAX or the peak value as it is called so here IDC is given as this we determine IDC is equal to 62.5 milliampere now if you remember we, we discussed in the previous questions also for half wave rectifier the DC value or the average value is equal to IM by pi okay this one so that implies IM is equal to IDC into pi here IDC is equal to 62.5 milliampere into pi so that will be equal to it is coming around 1 96.25 milliampere this is the maximum value of the current flowing through the rectifier circuit then another thing if you remember maximum value of current flows through the circuit okay maximum value of current flows through the circuit when the voltage input supply voltage is equal to maximum so we know I max is equal to V max by RF plus RL okay voltage divided by total resistance when voltage is maximum current is maximum here we have I max so we can determine Vmax as 
i max into rf plus rl which is equal to 196.25 milliampere into rf which is equal to 25 ohm plus rl which is 800 ohm so it's better you convert it into ampere which is equal to by 1000 okay this so the final result which is coming the maximum value of the voltage that is equal to it is coming around 161.9 volt or we can round it off 162 volt this so the maximum value of the input AC voltage here Vm or Vmax is equal to 162 volt so here see always remember there will always be something given in the question which is correlated with what is being asked with the help of a series of formulas so here the important thing is to remember all these formulas okay so the important thing here is to remember all these formulas the DC output voltage is equal to this IDC into RL from here we determine the value of IDC the average value then using these formulas IDC is equal to IM by pi we determine I max then using this formula I max is equal to VM max by RF plus RL we determine V max the maximum value of voltage okay so this this is the solution so here is another question on half wave rectifier so it has been given that a half wave rectifier having a resistive load of 1000 ohm rectifies an alternating voltage of 325 volt peak value maximum value and the diode has a forward resistance of 100 ohm calculate the peak average and RMS value of the current flowing the DC output power the AC input power and the rectifier efficiency so first we'll draw the circuit we have the circuit where it is supplied with the AC supply voltage we have a diode with forward resistance 100 ohm and a load resistance of 1000 ohm here the maximum value of the supply voltage is equal to 325 volt okay this <clears throat> now if you remember I always told you whenever there is forward resistance coming into play in the half wave rectifier circuit we have to go with the approach of currents current flowing through the circuit here maximum value of supply voltage is given so that will give us the maximum value of the current flowing so here I max is equal to V max by forward resistance plus load resistance that is equal to 325 by RF which is 100 plus RL which is 1000 ohm which is 325 by 1100 ohm that is equal to it is coming around if we express it in terms of milliamperes it is 295.45 milliampere this is the maximum value now for half wave rectifier circuits half wave rectified waves the average value which is also called as the DC value it is given by IM by pi 
that is i max by pi here i max is this much 295.45 milliampere divided by pi which is coming around 94.046 milliampere this is the average value or dc value then we have the ac or rms value the ac value or rms value for half wave rectifiers is given by i max by 2 so it is 295.45 milliampere which is the maximum value or peak value divided by 2 which is equal to it is coming around 147.725 milliamperes this much okay so this is the peak this is the average DC this is the RMS DC the first bit is complete then we have the DC power output if you remember whenever DC power comes into play here we have the DC value of the current squared multiplied with the load resistance RL here IDC is 94.0.46 milliampere converted into ampere divided by 1000 square it RL is equal to 1000 ohm that is equal to it is coming around 8.845 watts this AC input power so whenever AC comes into play we have the AC value of the current which is the RMS value RMS square taking into account the total resistance that is forward resistance RF plus load resistance R that is equal to IRMS we have determined 147.725 converting it into amperes squaring it RF is 100 ohm RL is 1000 which is 1100 that is equal to <coughs> it is coming around 24 watts this so we have determined the DC power output and the AC input, AC input power then the rectifier efficiency the rectifier efficiency is basically the ratio between the DC output divided by the AC input Okay, this DC power output and AC power. So we determine the DC output power as 8.845 watts and the AC input power as 24 watts, rounding it off. So it is coming around it's coming around 36 point 85 percentage 0 0.3685 just 36.85 percentage is close to 40 percent so always for half wave rectifiers it will always float around it will always be around 40 percent mark okay so this is the question where it involved these parameters which were asked so always you have to read the question carefully something will be there in the question which is uh, related to all the parameters which are asked all we have to do is remember the formulas I always said always have the formulas you know ready so here we started from here the peak value 325 from there we determine the maximum value or peak value of current then we determine the average value or the DC or the RMS the AC value then we determined the DC power output using those values and the AC power and the rectifier efficiency so this is the thing always have the formulas ready and then 
read the question carefully find something which is related with those formulas where you can put the value and get the answer and then you can uh, solve the other parameters using those uh, data which you get okay